So let's learn even more advanced list comprehension, which is not only do we want to be able to have if statements, but let's say we wanted to be able to combine comprehensions. Let's look at it with this example. Say we have a list of x coordinates, 2, 3, 4, and a set of y coordinates, negative 1 and 1. And we want to create all x, y pairs from these lists. So again, I'll show you the naive way. x, y pairs is equal to an empty list for x and x points. Then we're going to do a second for loop. And finally, we'll append, let's say, a list of x and y to the x, y pairs. So we can see that x, y pairs consist of all pairs of uh, x and y coordinates from x points and y points. Now we can do this four line statement, first creating an empty list, then iterating over x, then iterating over y, and then creating the pairs. We can do this all in one statement using a list comprehension. So we'll say instead x, y pairs equals x, y for x and x points. And now here we're going to just say again for y and y points. This is the same as you would expect in the uh, double nested for loop that we saw up here. Now we're just including it in a single list comprehension down here. And finally, we get to see that we get all x, y pairs. The main reason for using list comprehensions in this way is that it's, it's much easier to read in one line. And it kind of indicates what, what you want to do. Uh, so in this case, we want to create an x, y pair for each x and in x points and for each y and y points.